Hey everyone, if you're just looked to this channel, you'll quickly notice that his niche focuses on everything related to planes and airports. When you check out shorts, you'll see that sometimes use AI to create videos, while other times summarize content from other videos without worrying about copyright issues. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create similar videos in this niche using AI and some handy tools. If you're interested in learning how to make videos like these, just type air in the comments. If I see enough interest, I'll create a full tutorial on how to make these videos and also how to design engaging thumbnails with some catchy clickbait elements. Before we dive in, I wanna give you a quick piece of advice. Don't lose hope. If you check out the first video on this channel, you'll see that it hasn't even reached 5,000 views yet. So don't get discouraged if your first few videos don't blow up. Keep working hard and results will come with time. Now, let's get into what we're going to create today. The Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger aircraft, is a marvel of modern engineering with a wingspan of nearly 80 meters and the capacity to carry up to 850 passengers. Designed for long haul flights, this double-decker jet offers unparalleled comfort and luxury, featuring spacious cabins and onboard amenities like lounges and showers. Operating with major airlines worldwide, the A380 has redefined air travel by making it more efficient and enjoyable, offering passengers an extraordinary flying experience that stands as a testament to innovation in aviation. First, find this prompt in the pinned comment as usual. After copying it, go to ChatGPT and send it to ask for suggestions about the biggest airplane in the world, including some background information. Once you receive the reply, read the information and choose one plane from the suggestions. Next, ask ChatGPT to write a short script with a 45 second duration about the selected plane such as the Airbus A380. After receiving the script, ask ChatGPT to rewrite it in a single paragraph. Now copy this script and go to 11 Labs AI to convert the text into audio. Paste the text there and choose the voice you want. The site offers thousands of voices, so select one and proceed. Click Generate, and wait for the audio to be ready for download. After that, return to ChatGPT and ask for some prompts to use for generating images with AI. Once you receive the prompts, go to a site called Artflow AI. On its interface, click Studio Image, then click Create New Image. Change the image shape to 916. Copy each prompt and paste it into the provided field, then click the Generate button. Each generation will produce four images, so repeat this process with each prompt to get four images per prompt. After generating all images, download them. Next, go to Pexels and search for airplane videos. Before searching, adjust the search tools to filter for videos and select vertical videos if needed. Choose the video you want and download it. Following this, go to Pixabay and search for a background song for editing. Download the song, but make sure to read the copyright rules before doing so. Open the CapCut application and import all the assets you downloaded earlier. The first step is to add the voiceover of the script. Next, 
add the videos that correspond to the text in the audio. For example, start by adding the first two videos of the plane landing. Then, add images of the exterior of the plane. followed by videos of the interior of the plane. After that, include images of the plane's interior and exterior at night. Next, return to each image and crop them to remove any watermarks, ensuring they fit the 9 to 16 aspect ratio. Once this is done, add animations. Go to the Combo Animation section and search for Zoom 1 and Bounce Animations. Apply these animations to all images and videos. Apply the Bounce Animation to the first image and the Zoom 1 animation to the second image and continue this process until all images and videos are animated. After finishing, go to the Transitions option. Add the Then Leak To transition between images and other images. For transitions between images and videos, apply the right transition, as shown. Next, extract the sound from the first video, copy it, and paste it behind the original video. Once you've completed this step, move to the audio option. Search for the shutter camera sound effect and add it to the places with the Then Leak 2 transition. Add the whoosh sound effect to the places with the right transition. This helps to enhance the viewer's experience with sound effects. Search for the sound effect of the plane and add it behind the video of the plane flying. Adjust the duration of each sound effect and apply fade in and fade out effects as needed to ensure smooth audio transitions. Then now we go to the effect option and we add the vignette effect. We add it like this and we large it on all video. Like you see then after this, we reduce her capacity into 60%. After that, we go the text option, we click on it, and we click into an auto captions, and we click into create after we choose the English language. Now after the captions appear, we change it, the template like you see, and we change the font of the writing. And now we adjust the place of the text after that. Now we add the music background, we cut it like we need. Then we add the fade in and fade out, Now our video is finished, so we go to export video. Before we export it, we change the number of FPS and guys we leet in a new video.